Hi, everybody! <laughs> Creative Creature and uh, Trucks are back with an another video today. And we just got finished watching Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. Yep, the Nublar 6 or Nublar 5. As they are now called, since with Brooklyn, well, I'm still calling them the Nublar 6 because Brooklyn is still alive. Yeah. And this season was great. We got to see a whole bunch of new stuff, like more dinosaurs, like a Majungasaurus, which is like <laughs> scary. And then we have Sukumimus, which are really, really dangerous, which are like crocodiles. Because they can swim and stuff. Like a like a mini spinosaurus. Yeah. Ooh. Then we have Whoa. You're never gonna believe this. But we find Brooklyn found the identity of the of the broker. And who is it? Who? Who indeed? It is Sayona Santos. The lady from Jurassic World Dominion. I knew I recognized those Atrociraptors. Yeah. Ghost Panthera, Tiger, and Red. And I should have recognized the whole remote thing she had. Man, I can't believe it. She was behind all this. And with Biosyn. Actually, I knew that from the movie, but I didn't think she was in league with Biosyn forever. And we also... Darius, Kenji, Ben, Yaz, and Sammy make a new friend while trying to find the broker. They end up in Africa. <sighs> yeah. There are dinosaurs in Africa. I mean, they were only in America before, but now they're showing up all over the world, which is how the whole thing with... You know, Dominion being it is now. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And we also meet. Woo! We meet a whole bunch of other thirst stuff. We seen Santos hired a whole bunch of. Has a whole bunch of these facilities. Not just holding dinosaurs. But also creating them. Cloning. More and more. Yeah. She even hired a scientist. Go who goes by Dr. Sar. He's not just cr cloning and creating dinosaurs. Cloning. He's not just recloning dinosaurs. He's also experimenting with them. Like he made this blind acoustic baryonyx. Yeah. He made a baryonyx with no eyes. So it can actually, he can control it by sound. I mean, with a blind baryonyx, it's able to have echolocation and use that ability. I mean, something like that, it's incredible. <laughs> Not so much so when you, when it's like, whoo, that Atrociraptor Red that was with Santos, that's with her, she ordered Red to attack Dr. Sar and his Baryonyx. But just as the Baryonyx 
was going to attack. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. He didn't expect Red to actually figure out a way to communicate with the Baryonics. Sar found a way to give commands by snapping, but he didn't think that Red would be able to mimic the whole thing through snapping, no, you know, clicking his tongue. I thought that was like really, really mind blowing. Yeah. But Brooklyn, she is doing this whole thing undercover. She's trying to get close to Santos in order to put her away in prison. Trying to earn her trust, get a whole bunch of information. But I don't think that's going to help. You know, she has to go in very, very deep. Yeah. It is like... She has to abandon the, the rest of the gang. And it is like heartbreaking to see that. I just hope this whole thing doesn't ruin everything. And we also learn a whole bunch of more stuff. Like... Darius having a little bit of a love thing for Brooklyn as well. Yikes. Ooh. Whoa. That is like major, like, love yikes. Yeah. I mean, and we also find out that Darius's old DPW boss, well, that was a whole thing. It was like very, very difficult this season. And man, who knows when this whole thing before the whole Jurassic World Dominion movie will come. Yeah. And the and I thought the Allosaurus was responsible for taking you know Brooklyn's arm. But it wasn't. It was actually Ghost. But who saved Brooklyn? Darius's old boss, Ronnie, from the DPW. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it, it would be a little bit easier to get save Brooklyn from a, a Trociraptor than a, an Allosaurus. Yeah. Oh, man. But how will this whole thing go? I don't know. I'm excited to see what will happen in Season 3. But for now, watch this season for yourselves if you haven't already. If you have already, then good. You're excited as we are for the next season, which will come probably come out in the next six or seven months. So, let's fan down the hatches and get ready for another Jurassic adventure with the Nublar 6 or Nublar 5. No, they are still going to be called the Nublar 6. So, this is Crit Creature and Trex telling you to have a lovely time this Halloween. Don't forget to like our videos, comment what you think, share with your friends. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe right away. So bye everybody and have a happy Halloween. <laughs>